This video shows a couple of chaotic noise sources which is possible to make on the Surge 79 series using very limited resources. The first of these is a chaotic oscillator based on a certain kind of feedback around the oscillator. We listen to the sine output of the new timbrel oscillator and in the starting position this is a fairly pure kind of wave. Uh, we take the sine output and we feed it into the bottom half of a dual universal slope generator and we take the output of the dual slope generator and put it into the voltage control, the variable voltage controlled input of the oscillator. So we're for forming a loop and the uh, slope generator inside the loop is working as a frequency divider and it's dividing the frequency by two or three or four times. We can affect that. Uh, we can use the smooth output of the slope generator or we can use the end output which is a comparator type of output which is, goes from zero to plus volts in a triggering kind of way. Uh, when we listen to start with with uh, everything in a neutral position we hear the basic wave. When we increase the control voltage input the wave starts to get richer and uh, higher in harmonics until some point tends to get more chaotic and actually also a bit louder. The type of chaos also depends slightly on the relationship between the and in the pitch between the oscillator and the voltage division. That can give us some different colors of noise. And this also affects the chaos of the oscillator. And as I said, you can also use this out, which gives a very different, actually a milder type of chaos. Nearer to some kind of wave multiplier type of sound. That's one chaotic generator. Another one which is completely different and is much more chaotic, genuinely chaotic, is uh, comes from feeding back the two lower wave multipliers. Um, we take, we feed the output of the lowest wave multiplier into the input of the second lowest, and then we feed the output of the second lowest wave multiplier into the input of the lowest. So we're forming a loop around the multipliers. And if we listen to it, we get quite genuinely chaotic types of noise sounds slightly varying according to the position of these two knobs. Uh, this is partly because 
both of these modules contain a large number of diodes and of course they can both of them complexify the signal uh, very considerably uh, but together they form a kind of uh, module that gives a lot of different variations on chaos and noise Okay, so there's two chaos generators, one which is more towards the oscillator chaos direction and the other towards the true chaos direction.